Hi, Angel. Thank you so much for joining today with the No More series. Um, thank you for just being a part and sharing your experience and your testimony with somebody else to help them overcome. So I do have a few questions that I'm going to ask you today. Okay. Um, I'm going to jump right in. So for the first question, um, I do understand in your life that you have overcame many different obstacles. But if you had to pick one obstacle, which obstacle would you want to share um, with someone that you have overcome? Honestly, I would say like using my voice, like shyness, like overcoming being able to just express myself. Um, because it ultimately has led me to honestly my purpose and to what I'm doing right now, um, what my life surrounds actually my voice. Awesome. Okay. So tell me, what did your life look like or how did you operate in shyness? So growing up, I naturally have always been the sensitive kid, the kid that has always been like more quiet and I shy away from things that seem to put me in the forefront. So growing up operating in my shyness, I would honestly say that, how did I operate? Hmm. I just honestly, kept to myself um anything that represented something that was going to put me in a forefront I always like pivoted away from it yeah. and I really just dove into like school and academics just because it was something like I can write it on paper that was my expression my expression honestly became like writing um, anything that would avoid keep me away from speaking. Okay. All right. And then what kind of effects did it bring not only to you, but to the people around you when you were operating in shyness? You know, in operating in my shyness, to be honest, um, can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. And operating in my shyness, it honestly made, in my life, it targeted me to, to be victimized, if that makes sense. Um, I went through some childhood traumas and it, the shyness honestly made me seem like an easy target in sense of I was not quick to speak up. I was um, very removed. And honestly, for my family, it impacted them because they had no idea that certain things were happening because I wasn't speaking up about what I was experiencing. OK. All right. And then when did you realize that operating in shyness was no longer conducive to your future? Honestly, when I got tired of being a victim of my circumstances, when I got tired of going through the childhood traumas and the experience, it just kind of enough was enough. And so with that, I started feeling more empowered um, to use my voice because being quiet and shying away from things, it wasn't serving me. It wasn't serving me. It wasn't changing circumstances. I wasn't getting the help that I felt like I needed to be in a better position. So I definitely started using my voice at that point. And the more I started speaking, the more confident um, and assured I felt about myself because as I was speaking and people were listening and hearing me, help started coming and things just ultimately put me in a better position. Um, to be in a safer position. So I realized that there was power in my voice and I had to be comfortable with using it 
because um, there are people that will listen um, and I don't, it didn't have to be a place where I needed to speak loudly. I just needed to open my mouth and speak so that someone can hear me. Yes, that's good. And actually you jumped into my next question, um, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, the next question is what practical steps? So you did mention like, you know, just opening up your mouth and speaking, but what practical steps did you take um, that allowed you to get to this place that you are in today, using your voice and operating, you know, in your gift of encouragement through your voice? Um, I had to really affirm myself. I had to understand that I am somebody. I had to understand that um, I do have purpose. And that this sense of fitting in, um, I have my own tribe, you know what I mean? Oh, and so the more I continue to understand who I was and ultimately creating dialogue with God too, like that was the real foundation. Just understanding that my relationship didn't have to look like what I was seeing other people's or what I saw at church. And I kind of developed my own understanding of what it was supposed to look like. But when I really started creating that environment for myself and realizing that God was affirming me and also understanding the word, cause it took me a minute. I grew up in church, but like it took me a minute to personalize it because I was I guess a PK. I mean, I didn't have um, family that was like in leadership, but when I say we was there, sun up, sun down, eating dinner, revivals, I was there, but it was like a habit though. You know what I mean? But it wasn't, I wasn't understanding it. So when I became more so like an adult, that relationship, like a young adult, maybe 18, I started realizing that I gotta modify this thing for myself. And that was, that's was that been the biggest thing because it's really affirmed me, really. At the end of the day, I'm more confident and I understand who I am. And when I do feel challenged, I legit go back to those conversations with God. I'm like, all right, I know you ain't gonna put me in any circumstance that is gonna defeat me. I gotta slow down. I gotta take it a minute, a second for what I need it for and just move so leaning into god honestly is the biggest thing put myself in uncomfortable situations absolutely i love that i absolutely love that because um you know we operate in the world so much but everything we need is in the word of god everything we need is in the relationship with god down to the way you dress the way you walk the way you talk um coming out of that shyness and that timidness and just being comfortable. See, a lot of times we be shy because we're uncomfortable with the unique way God made us. But when you tap into and you got into your word and you start to commune with Christ, he let you know that, hey, you good, you know? And it's that affirmation that he gave you. Nobody else can give you that. So I absolutely love that angel. That is amazing. Um, and I'm just glad that you were able to tap in to that relationship with Christ and commune with him so that you can be this voice today and encourage and empower women and, and people all over the world. That is a blessing. That is amazing. Yes. Um, thank you. I really receive it. And it's, it's a gift. It's slow to speak, but when you speak, you know, it has to make sense. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm grateful absolutely okay so i'm glad that you overcame that um so just say like if somebody tune into this and they're dealing with shyness which what words of encouragement would you leave to that individual that was that's currently in that place of shyness that you used to be what would you tell them i would say that you matter there's somebody that needs to hear your voice. Um, take your time with it. Have grace with yourself. And ultimately, lean into God. Like, develop their relationship because God's un understanding um, the word of God is ultimately what's going to build that inner confidence 
But definitely, I mean, God can give us a mouth to sit shut. You have something to say, so just lean in. Yeah, awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. And again, I just, um, I just want to thank you for being here. Those were all my questions. This is definitely a powerful um, session and somebody needs this. Like you said, use your voice. Lean into what God is telling you to do. It's not going to look like what everybody else is doing. Um, me even doing this. This is out of my comfort zone. You know, um, at heart, I'm an introvert. Although I laugh a lot and I smile a lot. And, you know, at heart, I like to be to myself. But God had to show me, hey, use your voice and overcome that. I've dealt with that shyness and timidness and people pleasing. So it's amazing just to see other individuals that have overcome things, you know, and be a light. Continue to be a light. Continue to talk, even when you don't feel like it, you know, and go back to the word of God. And and no matter how many times you have to go back, keep going back so you can get the affirmation from God and continue mm -hmm. to open up your mouth. Like you said, we can't keep our mouth shut. Just continue to tell our story and our testimony. So mm -hmm. um, I do want to give this time to you to just um, let the people know how they can get in contact with you, what services you offer, if you offer any um, any products, or just how they can connect with you. Awesome, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm on Instagram and my page is Enriched Confidence. And that's I-N-R-I-C-H-E-D underscore confidence. Um, basically, I am right now in the process of developing um, an introverted coaching program specifically for introverted women that are working on finding their voice, um, working on being heard specifically. So yeah, reach, log in, um, connect with me on Instagram and definitely there's some things that are going to be like definitely coming out in the next 30 days. So I would appreciate it. Awesome. Well, yes, guys, definitely go ahead and tune in. Follow Angel over on Instagram um, and connect with her. If you know somebody that can benefit from the services that she offer, even her testimony, go ahead and share the video with them and, and just lead people to the people that can help them. You know, we're not for everybody, but we know somebody that can help somebody else that we may know. Um, so again, Angel, I thank you for your time. I do appreciate your time and I value it. Um, and just thank you for being a part of the No More series. No More, deciding to say no more to shyness and to tap into that overcomer that is on the inside of you. So I thank you so much for being here. And I just pray to God, open up the, the windows of heaven and use you in a mighty way, you know, and that you continue to walk in that boldness and that confidence that only God has given you and that you be a light in the dark place. So thank you so much for joining today. And I will stay connected to you. God bless you. Thank you.